In his first address to a joint session of Congress, President Biden outlined his American Families Plan. It's a $1.8 trillion proposal to tackle child poverty and expand access to child care and education. New specialist Matt Rascone is live with what this could mean for Utah residents. Matt? Yeah, guys, well, many agree that Utah is in a better position when it comes to the family and the economy, but that, the, but that there's still work to do. For this plan, we're talking about more affordable child care, uh, free community college and pre-K, and paid, uh, paid leave from work. But some are asking, at what cost? America is on the move again. 100 days in office, and President Biden is focusing on what he hopes will be long-term solutions to the challenges families face. When you say only 10 percent, though, you have to keep in mind you're talking about, you know, almost 100,000 children living below the poverty line. Matthew Weinstein with Voices for Utah Children says the biggest benefit from President Biden's proposed American Families Plan is extending the increased child tax credits. It's expected to cut the child poverty rate this year about in half, which is tremendous. Weinstein also says the plan would help close some of the existing gaps in education, expanding access and increasing affordability from child care through higher ed. So I'm an economist, so that's kind of my uh, starting point is I'm comparing benefits and costs. And there are benefits to this and there are costs to this. Phil Dean can't help but look at the plan's $1.8 trillion price tag. I do think it's an important conversation that we need to have here. Uh, in our country in terms of how do we pay for the things that government does. Dean wonders about whether the private sector can fill some of the gaps and what strings could be attached to what the government pays for. How much of the higher education policy is going to be dictated by the federal government along with those federal dollars that would come. The White House has pegged the plan as an investment in our kids, families and economic future. But questions remain about what those investments should look like. Are we making the kind of upfront investments that close these gaps that keep all of us able to keep our heads above water? And that's where these kind of upfront investments really would pay for themselves in the long run. So how do you pay for it? President Biden is proposing a tax hike for the top 1% of American earners. Now, there are some aspects of the bill that have some bipartisan support, but of course, no telling well, what the bill would look like if it goes to Congress. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News. Matt, thank you.